Hello, my name is Jesse Meekham from YNAB. It stands for You Need a Budget. You do, I do, we all do. The budget is mainly just about priorities. We talked last week about what you truly want. Today I want to talk a little bit more in the nitty gritty about the software specifically and category structure. I have pushed you hard for a while to simplify, simplify, simplify. Fewer moving parts generally means it's simpler. And because it's money, we like to think that it should be complicated and so we introduce all these other moving parts that just add complexity, not value. And what we really want is value out of this whole thing. So, we push for simplicity, fewer accounts, fewer categories. Let me give you a little demonstration. Fewer categories might be something like this. This big black box, colored on purpose to be a black box, is one category. And then, let's call it eating out, right? But then maybe you're spending most of your kind of family eating out budget, maybe most of it's going to a really expensive coffee habit, right? Or addiction. So in that situation, maybe this blue one here is really, really expensive coffee. And you actually don't really value, well, no, I don't want to do the blue one. I want to do the red one because it's pointed this way. So the box is working toward your values. This one category is supposedly lined up with your values and it's called eating out. And then you have this one that's kind of going awry left. We'll call that the coffee one. No judging. And then let's say that the eating out also you go out on a date with your spouse and that's something you really value, right? So you have that in here and you also have uh, lunch at work in the eating out category and you really don't value buying your lunch out every single day for work and so that's going this way. Did I have the spouse date going awry? I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, you have in this big eating out black hole category, perhaps you have sub activities that are going on and they are kind of fighting against each other so that the whole category eating out is not representative of your values. It's not moving you toward a specific goal. It's just they're all they're fighting, right? And that's where you might have lined everything up and you have like a miscellaneous category and a catch-all category and a stuff for the house category. And uh, in the business, I call this office. All right, it's like a big catch-all category. So when you have that, you just want to be aware that you don't have priorities in there that actually aren't really yours and they're just buried. So you break them out potentially into separate categories. You break out and you size them appropriately. So you say, I still like expensive coffee because I'm still addicted. But you just make it maybe a little smaller, a little more reasonable, pointed toward your values. Uh, this one with dates with your spouse, pointed toward your values. Maybe you, maybe you break that out and you realize, you know what, we don't actually value eating out at really expensive restaurants, we just value the time together. Hey, is there some way that we can still capture the time together but not spend so much money? Let's do picnics, let's go to the library, I don't know, let's just go and chat, let's go browse through magazines and make the store owner upset. So, in that instance, you are, again, pointed toward your values. The same can be said for eating out at lunch. You say, well, I do like to eat out on Fridays because it's just kind of fun, more people do it, it's more of a, like an office camaraderie thing. So that portion is important to me. So you size that category appropriately and then it is pointing toward your values. The idea here though is that those categories, those priorities, they weren't really controlled because they were all in this big mess that was that big black box called eating out. Now you've broken them out and you have more granularity. Granularity down to the toothpaste level, we call it, is not appropriate. But granularity down to a level that makes your priorities all line up, perfectly appropriate. We'll see you guys next week.